Breaking news to tell you about. This is in Newhall. Uh, there is a pursuit uh, happening at the moment. Mark Kono is overhead. Here's what we know, Mark. A psychiatric patient got out of a facility somehow, is in a sheriff's Chevy Tahoe. We're hearing there are weapons in that sheriff's vehicle. What more do you know? And that's what we understand at this point here. Uh, we understand that this uh, went up the 14 freeway from the 5 and now uh, came back south along Sierra Highway. He exited the 14 freeway right there at Newhall, came down Sierra Highway over towards Balboa, and that's essentially uh, where we are right now, not too far from the 118 freeway. In fact, we are southbound on Woodley Avenue, just about uh, coming up on the 118 freeway here. A stolen Sheriff's Department Tahoe. That's what you're looking at right there with the flashing lights. Multiple units uh, behind him and are in pursuit of this person here. A psychiatric patient, uh, presumably under some uh, mental distress, emotional distress, we just don't know at this point. But yes, exited the facility and stole this vehicle here. Now this chase has been ongoing for about 20 minutes at this point. Just now crossing under the 118 freeway. Again, we are on Woodley here and that's as this guy kind of pops out here, uh, just to, to give you an update here, we're just north of Van Nuys Airport. Share 7 TV5, I've got you uh, plenty of room down there. Okay, uh, again, southbound on Woodley from the 118 freeway, and uh, we'll just be coming up on Chatsworth Street, southbound on Woodley. Beyond Chatsworth, it'll be Devonshire. So let's see what this person does here. Does he turn? Uh, does he go straight through the intersection here? Uh, not exactly sure the nature of uh, this guy's uh, situation, uh, why this person was at the hospital, but uh, certainly a stolen vehicle here, a stolen sheriff's vehicle, and uh, as many as seven units are in pursuit of this person. Now again, southbound on Woodley, just now coming up on Devonshire Street in about another uh, block or so. Coming up on stop to traffic at this point, so that is going to be a pretty tight spot. Uh, uh, to try and squeeze through there, but uh, he does get through in the right lane, it looks like here. And uh, uh, just uh, to give you a heads up here, we are approaching the North Hills area, approaching Van Nuys area, southbound on Woodley. And again, he's going to be in about half a block coming up on Devonshire right now. It's a red light. Right now, it's a red light on Devonshire. It just turned red. So as we uh, widen out the shot just a touch, let's see what this guy does as uh, cars start to enter the intersection here. I think they sense something is going on here. And so they are, okay, he's slowing down, slowing down. And he's going to go through the intersection there. So that's going to be Devonshire Street, right through the intersection, southbound on Woodley. Guys, let me send it back to you. This is a, a pursuit okay, that's underway. Right. And if you're just waking up and joining us, looks very odd. Uh, th right. This Chevy Tahoe right here in L.A. County Sheriff's uh, Tahoe is the vehicle that is being pursued. Uh, it is being driven, we believe, we are hearing, uh, that it is being driven by a psychiatric patient from Olive View Medical Center who somehow got into this vehicle and took off. Now, L.A. County Sheriff's deputies are chasing one of their own vehicles. Uh, it is in the north, uh, entering the North Hills area. So this is sort of where the 118 and the 405 meet, right, right on Woodley uh, Avenue there uh, in the San Fernando Valley. The, the fear here is that there may be a semi-automatic uh, long okay, rifle in that, uh, in that vehicle. Car. Uh, and with this person behind the wheel, that obviously is prompting great concern for everyone involved uh, with this particular person driving this vehicle. You can now see that it is speeding up. I believe you're into, into around North Hills at this point. Uh, am I right? Are you still on Woodley, uh, Mark? Still on Woodley, uh, just past Alassan Street and heading south over towards Plummer and coming in towards North Hills proper. So again, the Sheriff's Department vehicle here. Uh, the CHP and the Sheriff's Department have been kind of back and forth here as far as who's going to be uh, taking charge here. We understand the Sheriff's Department uh, is going to be taking over the pursuit on surface streets. If it does hit the freeways again, then the CHP will take over here. But you can see that that car just on the top right of the screen there, that is the vehicle that is being pursued here. Now this uh, person apparently stole, whoa, okay, a little bit tight there a little bit tight going in the right lane he has cross traffic ahead cross traffic ahead and uh, what is this going to okay he's turning right turning right and uh, that i believe is going to be plumber street uh, that's going to be a westbound turn across uh, from Woodley and now this person uh, more or less in a residential area here in North Hills and uh, again this uh, started out of the Olive View Medical Center uh, where this person uh, apparently walked out of the facility and jumped in this vehicle and took off now this car was northbound on the 5 freeway here into the Newhall Pass uh, joined the truck lanes up the 14 freeway exited Newhall Avenue 
and then uh, came on uh, Sierra Highway southbound here. And so uh, southbound Sierra Highway over to Balboa, and that's where we ended up uh, kind of down here in North Hills at this point. Bear with me just a second here. Looks like they're going to try and get in position to pit the car, so that uh, may happen uh, sooner than later. It looks like that vehicle just uh, on the left side is going to try and uh, maneuver himself into a position when he sees a safe window of opportunity to do so here. But uh, the sheriff's uh, helicopter uh, overhead is uh, giving us some information here and uh, telling us that uh, they are uh, getting ready to pit this vehicle here. So uh, as soon as a safe opportunity should present itself, uh, uh, we might uh, see that actually happen again. Westbound on Plummer Street, just now coming up on Havenhurst. Okay, fives, uh, looking out here, 1.8. Okay. Okay, here we go, here we go, guys. And it's uh, now a situation where we're coming up on a little bit of a cross traffic and stopped traffic up ahead. So the sheriff's vehicle on the left is going to have to break off. Uh, okay, and now crossing the intersection just up ahead. Fortunately, it's a green light. It looks like uh, the stolen vehicle uh, suspect is going to make a move southbound, southbound. So that uh, is going to be Balboa. So back on Balboa Boulevard here, now southbound uh, Balboa from Plummer is where we are at now. We are just in North Hills, just about a mile north of the Van Nuys Airport here where this person and again, southbound on Balboa, we may see a situation where uh, if uh, the uh, Sheriff's Department um, deputy sees an opportunity to pit the vehicle, he might uh, just take that. So uh, he's now coming up on a busy intersection here, so I don't know that he's going to be able to do so. But uh, let's see here, southbound on Balboa, just coming up on Nordoff here. We have stopped traffic ahead. They may have to split up again where the Sheriff's Department, okay, and look at that. Okay, the stolen vehicle goes to the left, veers into the left turn lane, uh, southbound on Woodley right there and makes it through the red light. So my goodness, that's gonna be Nordoff. Uh, southbound on Balboa, just crossing Nordoff, uh, right through a red light there. So you're seeing uh, kind of what we're seeing up here, as many as three uh, vehicles in close Again, uh, should they uh, see an opportunity to pit this guy, they're gonna try and use, uh, use that to their advantage. Guys. Yeah, and when you think about, uh, you know, this is a heavy vehicle, a Chevy Tahoe, a sheriff's vehicle, to try to pit you know, something like that is unusual for police when they're used to, sadly, uh, just regular cars, a regular sedan or maybe a pickup truck. But this this is a, a different set of circumstances that we're watching You're again. Uh, Five copies. What we're hearing, it happened around Olive View Medical Center. Someone leaving okay, the facility jumped in this sheriff's Chevy Tahoe and then took off. And now we've seen this pursuit lasting uh, the last maybe 20 minutes or so, according to Mark Kona. We just got over it a few moments ago. Um, and. You would imagine that within this sheriff's vehicle there is a weapon, and we have heard that as well. So then you factor in the rain, the visibility not so great in the area, and a it's lot rush of factors, hour. and it's rush hour, so a lot to okay, take into account. Okay, coming up on traffic, coming up and on traffic. And you see things like this: the school bus, there's a vehicle uh, pulling out. Oh my goodness, nearly a collision there. Uh, he's going in the the wrong way in traffic uh, uh, in the turn lane right now, and as the sheriff's deputies look for a place to pit. It is probably the worst time of the day to try that uh, when you wow, have uh, heavy roads. Heavy traffic, heavy traffic. When you have roads that are completely uh, packed with uh, people, as you can see right now. Now the, the vehicle is sort of trapped okay. in here, but he's is going he up on the, on the sidewalk. Sidewalk, mark. sidewalk. And explore, okay, fair enough. Mm. Okay, thank you. Through the parking lot now, westbound, westbound on Roscoe, westbound on Roscoe from Balboa. So, uh, you know, we're hearing conflicting reports here. Initially, we heard uh, from the air unit uh, that this was uh, a Tahoe, a stolen sheriff's uh, Tahoe. In fact, it might be an Explorer. We'll try and get uh, a closer uh, eyeball on this thing. But uh, again, just turned uh, westbound on Roscoe from Balboa and uh, moving at a pretty fast uh, rate of speed at this point here. So uh, several helicopters uh, obviously are going to be overhead watching this pursuit here, this pursuit of this stolen a sheriff's vehicle here now as we move through the Van Nuys area, just off your right, Pollard, I got you. Uh, just uh, through the Van Nuys area now and uh, in towards uh, Northridge, in towards Reseda, those areas here in this residential area, I see one sheriff's a deputy kind of broke off there, probably to run parallel streets here, but uh, again, westbound and uh, just two units, three units that are directly behind him, and of course, the sheriff's uh, 
airship that is overhead. Now, this is going to be a pretty busy street here. So Roscoe Boulevard, a pretty busy street, especially looking westbound here at all the intersections. I have, uh, well, many vehicles. He's just now half a block uh, from another stoplight that just turned green at this point. So he is going to be able to make his way through the intersection, although he is going to have to slow down for slower traffic. And so there he is just kind of maneuvering in and out. He's being blocked by the sheriff's helicopter. So, uh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Okay, oh. there we go. Assault with a deadly weapon. Assault with a deadly weapon. Hey, okay. Shots fired. Shots fired, guys. Rich, get ready to pull out. Uh, it looks like he's still moving. It looks like he's still moving. Just kind of stay on a medium shot, Rich. Stay on a medium shot. Get ready to pull. Okay, southbound, southbound, guys. You just saw that. He backed into a sheriff's vehicle there, hit that sheriff's vehicle. The sheriff's vehicle that was alongside of him, uh, the sheriff's uh, deputy got out, and apparently shots were fired. I think we saw that uh, just live on our air a few seconds ago. And now, again, we are going to be southbound. And it looks like he is able to maintain the pursuit here. So I don't know whether he was struck or not. It certainly looks like uh, shots were fired. And uh, if you see anything rich in that window, let me know here. But... Uh, yeah, uh, Sheriff Seven uh, confirming to me shots fired here, so southbound. Uh, and in uh, this residential neighborhood here, it looks like the guy is still able to continue the pursuit uh, despite the fact that uh, he was shot at by deputies. So, uh, okay, we're going to be along White Oak. White Oak, and uh, we're just now coming up on Satakoy in another half a block or so. So you saw that, an assault with a deadly weapon where the suspect actually backed into a sheriff's deputy vehicle, collided with that vehicle. He put it into drive, went forward, and as he was moving forward, he was shot at, the suspect was shot at by a deputy in a secondary car here, so now coming through the intersection here, this is going to be a felony, uh, a felony at this point, now southbound coming through the intersection, past Satakoy, and again, uh, on White Oak Avenue, his next major intersection uh, past the residential area is going to be on, uh, well, let's see here, I'll try and get a street for you, but uh, again, moving at a semi-fast uh, rate of speed here, but uh, the situation just got uh, a little bit more tense uh, with that shots fired, the assault with a deadly weapon, and now it's going to be a very uh, intense escalation of uh, scenes here uh, in the Lake Balboa area. Guys? We're being told that it was a sergeant who fired several rounds here, and uh, it is a much more serious situation now that you've, you've got this driver who has actually uh, tried to and, and did, in fact, back that vehicle into another uh, sheriff's car, hitting that car. Uh, and, and obviously, okay. that sergeant felt that lives were at risk and felt that uh, that that using deadly force was uh, called for okay, at that point. Uh, it'll be interesting to see now if they escalate their tactics in trying to stop this vehicle. They've certainly uh, 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 used uh, uh, weapons One, two, three, uh, and, and deadly force to try to stop it. Now, will they uh, attempt to uh, a pit maneuver? Okay. Uh, uh, and be a little more aggressive in trying to stop this vehicle. Just so you know where this is, this is the San Fernando Valley, the uh, Lake Balboa up on Van Owen area. Here, stoplight. Um, we're talking about White Oak at uh, Van Owen Street. Um, and, and as they continue south on White okay, Oak, they, stop will, traffic, stop they traffic. will stop by, they will drive by the Sepulveda Flood okay. Control Basin, just so you know where it Opposing is. Opposing lanes of traffic through the intersection, through the red light. So he's now through Van Owen. Looking down towards Victory Boulevard, guys. Southbound White Oak, past Van Owen, through the red light, down towards Victory Boulevard here, through the residential area. Shots fired at the suspect. It does not look like that has uh, slowed the suspect's pace here as he continues south at a pretty decent rate of speed here. At least one, two, three, four uh, sheriff's deputy vehicles in uh, close proximity to him as well as the uh, sheriff's helicopter overhead. It looks like pulling he might over. be pulling over here, so let's... Uh, try and pull up a little bit here no doubt the sheriff's deputy okay and he is out of the vehicle out of the vehicle arms behind his back okay wow Front. look at this guy okay he just pulled over right there at the intersection of white oak and kit ridge sheriff's deputies are going to make a quick turn. approach order him down to the ground his arms are behind his back and at some point when they feel safe to do so they'll approach this guy and take him into custody probably the smartest thing that this guy has done all morning long and it looks like he is complying and is allowing himself to be detained by deputies. Oh, my goodness. Wow. My goodness. Look at that. Southbound White Oak just past Kittredge. Mm. And, you know, we're, I'm thinking back to just a few moments ago that we heard shots were fired from the sergeant in the pursuit at this suspect here. It doesn't look like he was hit, but people were waiting at a stoplight yeah. nearby. Can you imagine on your morning commute? Oh, my goodness. You know, to yeah. see something like that occur. 
uh, had to be shocking. For well, the and, folks and they're shooting blood into a sheriff's into, into a, a sheriff's vehicle. Right shoulder blade. Yeah. Into a, a sheriff's vehicle. Uh, Mark, are you saying that, uh, that that there is blood? It appears he's been it shot. It looks there looks to be a little bit of blood on his uh, on his right shoulder blade there, right on his back, the upper right side of his back here. So on his shoulder blade, it looks like there was a little bit of blood there. Mm. Not enough to uh, slow him down. Not in the least. It doesn't appear. But uh, you know, that being said, he did uh, pull over and give up pretty quickly here. So uh, again, it looks like uh, he may have been injured uh, in some way, uh, perhaps by the shots that were fired that we saw live on our air just a couple of minutes. Ago, but it did look like there was a little bit of blood, uh, a little bit of blood on his right shoulder blade as he was uh, being turned around and led into the vehicle there. So, uh, yeah, just uh, uh, just a very intense uh, situation here as we saw those shots being fired by the sheriff's deputy at the suspect here. Could have been a broken oh. glass. It's yeah. not clear if yeah. he was uh, hit by the gunfire, but my goodness, thank thank goodness this this is over. Yeah, and you know, if you're just waking up this morning saying, I, what's going on here? I, d I see all sheriff's, uh, you know, vehicles. We don't know exactly how this person stole a sheriff's vehicle. Right. That that remains unknown. We do hear that it originated from Olive View Medical Center, but the details are fuzzy on that as to how he was able to do that. We'll sort it out yeah. as we find out more. We will uh, we will bring you the, the the story. But the good news is pursuit is over in the San Fernando Valley. Mark Cono, thank you very much. Uh, Ginger Chan, you've been watching this, and uh, Later, this will no doubt have an effect. Uh, in that part of the San Fernando Valley. And I will say this much, and we've seen this with pursuits, unless uh, there's some type of crash that happens, they do try to clear this very quickly, of course, for the safety of those around the area. But with shots fired, that may be a slightly different situation, and you can see what the drivers are doing. So your north-south alternates, Louise and Sino Avenue, to get yourself around this particular stretch of Van Nuys. We have just a couple things that we want to work really quick for you because...